All right, now to talk some exponents and logs. So suppose we got $1,000 compounded annually at 3%. So it's actually growing at 103%. So we're going to multiply 1,000 by 1.03. Where that's coming from is you get your 100% plus your interest rate when it's growing. How much money would there be at the end of five years? So you could do times 1.03 times 1.03 and keep multiplying or that becomes an exponent repeat of multiplication so we get 1,159 and 27 cents so 3% every year gets you 160 bucks in 5 years all right Solving this one. Um, this formatted a little funny. Let's move this 5 to the x equals 43 over here. And I'm going to actually solve this one first. Um, because it's easier, there's less stuff going on. So if we undo, to do undo exponent to get that out by itself, we take the log of both sides because logs are the inverse operations. They undo exponents. So I'm going to take the natural log of 5 to the x, natural log of 43. And I do natural log simply because it's less letters to write. You could take the common log, the just regular log, L-O-G. And then you bring the x down in front because that's the one property of logarithms and then because it's x times the natural log of 5 we divide both sides by the natural log of 5 and x is then approximately natural log of 43 make sure you close the parentheses on that and so you should get 2.337 um, you can always double check that by doing 5 to the 2.337. 5 squared is 25, and 5 cubed is 125, and so you know that it's got to be between 2 and 3. So now let's take this. Um, 3 times 4 to the 3x plus 7 equals 768. Resist the urge to um, multiply the 3 times the 4. Let's divide by the 3 first. Um, and then you get 4 equals 4 to the 3x plus 7 equals 768 divided by 3 is 256. So then we say, okay, well, let's take the natural log of both sides. And actually, so we'll do it both ways. Um, the natural log of 4 to the 3x plus 7 equals the natural log of 256. So 3x plus 7 so bring the 3x plus 7 down in front and leave it in parentheses like that. It's easier if you take care of the natural log of 4 and say 3x plus 7 equals the natural log of 256 over the natural log of 4. And then we're going to take this on up. And I'm going to subtract 7. Subtract the 7, divide by the 3. And x is approximately... And so we're dividing to get the natural log of 4. And now we see that 4 to the 4th power was 256, and that's why that worked out. Subtract 7, divide by 3, you get negative 1. So 3 times negative 1, negative 3 plus 7 is 4, 4 to the 4th power is 256. And so that's why that works out. Um, write in logarithmic form. So this was the very basic gist of logarithms, that if you had the base of an exponent, that became the base of your logarithm. 
and so this is the basic definition of the log coming from if you have log base b of some x equals a then you could write that as b to the a equals x or backwards like that so to simplify log base 4 of 6 we actually have to use the change of base formula and so what we can do is we can change it to the common log log 6 divided by log 4 and we change it to so it has the same base 10 or you can do ln of 6 over ln of 4 and either one will give you 1.292 there you have it now change this equation to reflect a move up three units so if we want to move it up we're gonna have to affect this number on the outside this number with the X right now the minus 5 is shifting it to the right 5 remember that the anything with the X is doing opposite what we think it should and this plus 7 right now is moving it up 7 so if we change this so it's 4 to the X minus 5 and we add another 3 because we want it to go up 10 little laws of logarithms and so when you have two things that are multiplied we separate them into two things two separate logs that are added and then fully expanded is when you bring the two the powers down in front so 2 log of x plus log of y. And there you have it. To solve an equation like this you can do a couple different things. Um, sometimes it's easiest to condense the left hand side and so if you have two logs that are subtracted you can write it as one log that is divided. So we have the log of log base 5 of x divided by 6 equals log base 5 of 3. So because we have the log base 5 of two things, the two things have got to be equal to each other. So then x equals, if I multiply both sides by 6, I get 18. To solve this logarithmic, we've got a base, and let's change it to exponential. And so we say 3 to the 4th power equals x and that's changing it to exponential form or you could think um, and 3 to the fourth power is 81 and so x is 81 or you could say well let's exponentiate both sides so 3 log base 3 of x equals 3 to the fourth 3 to the log base 3 power cancels out you're left with just x equals 3 to the fourth and so that's the same deal um, find the value of $6,000 invested at 2.5% compounded weekly. There are 52 weeks in a year. And so we're going to take our $6,000 and we're going to do our 1 plus our interest rate, 0 0.025. Remember that we're changing it back twice. And we're going to cut that interest rate into 52 parts so that we only earn 1 52nd of 2.5% every week. And then there are 52 weeks in a year, so after one year, we'll have 52. And then we want 7 years, so we're going to multiply that by 7. So what do we get? That's coming from P times 1 plus R over N raised to the NT power. And so N was the number of compoundings, R was the interest rate as a decimal, and T was the time in years. All right, another condensing one. 
we've got two logs that are added. I've got a one half in front that I'm going to take up on top of the y. That's going to become log of x plus log of y to the one half power. And we could change that to two logs that we multiply what's inside. And the one half only applies to the y. And so you can write it like this, or remember that the one half power also is the square root of y, and so you could write it like that as well. Either way you want to cut it. Does the equation, 3 halves times 2 thirds to the x represent growth or decay? Well, this 2 thirds is being raised to the x, and so we repeatedly multiply by 2 thirds. So if we have a number less than 1, this is going to be decay. If b is bigger than 1, so in this case it's decay, if b is bigger than 1, then the numbers are going to get bigger every time when you multiply by it, then it's going to be growth. And so, graphically, what they look like is um, decay. It's going to look like that, because you're multiplying by two-thirds every single time. And that is logarithms and some exponentials.